And for a leader from the European right, I spoke today to the leader of the UK Independence Party, Nigel Farage, and I began by asking him his reaction to today's events in Paris. Well, truly horrific, uh, but obviously with some very worrying implications uh, for our civilization. Uh, you know, free speech, satire, uh, all things that Western countries believe in and love and have enjoyed for centuries. Um, and when you see something like this happening, um, it's going to make many commentators in lots of spheres very nervous of poking fun or saying anything. It doesn't it also send a message that uh, we and our European brethren, who you've described sharing very much the same culture, very much the same attitudes, should bind together at a moment like this? Uh, well, no, of course it doesn't say we should be in a political union. Uh, yes, there are shared values and cultures uh, that the Northern European and Southern European Christian countries have. Of course there are. Uh, but that doesn't mean we should be one state. Uh, and actually the evidence from history is that very often, uh, you know, good neighbours with good fences uh, can get on extremely well. Now, I know that uh, Angela Merkel has been in Downing Street today and they've had a phone call uh, with uh, President Hollande. And yes, of course, there is solidarity and friendship when something ghastly like this happens. Well, solidarity and friendship doesn't need fences, does it? Uh, well, it does, of course. And I think there is a very strong argument that says uh, that actually what happened in Paris today um, is a result, and we've seen it in London too, is a result, I'm afraid, uh, of now having a fifth column living within these countries. You know, we've got people living in these countries, holding our passport that hate us. Uh, now, luckily, their numbers are very, very small. Uh, but it does make one question. You know, the whole uh, really gross attempt at encouraged division within society that we've had for the last few decades in the name of multiculturalism. But you couldn't be certain that you could make such a statement to say it is not the case in Britain. And if it is conceivably the case in Britain, then all the more reason why we should have shared ambitions, shared goals, shared security, and a shared future. I mean, separate, separate to this problem of terrorist extremism, I want us to live in a Europe where we trade together, cooperate together, and are friends together. Uh, but what is happening in Europe, and we're seeing it between Greece and Germany, with increased antipathy between those countries because they've been forced together inside the straitjacket of an economic and monetary union. And indeed, I would argue that the free movement of peoples has actually increased tensions between European countries, and we're now further apart from each other than we would have been. So you're convinced that the best reaction to what's happened today beyond clearly expressing sadness for those involved um, is actually to pull out of Europe and go it alone. Well, I think what's happened today is that the German Chancellor has come to Downing Street and in the press conference, David Cameron said three times, I support the free movement of peoples within the European Union, um, a position that I was very surprised uh, to hear him say. Uh, and what it means is that the red line, the reasonable red line that the British people have got, which is that we should control who comes to live, work, settle in our country, whether they come from the European Union or from Canada or from anywhere else in the world, that, that, that frankly, the Prime Minister has surrendered that and it won't be part of the renegotiation. Oh, but and you'll be surrendering it too. You, you can't possibly have a free trade area that doesn't allow freedom of movement. There is no free trade if you're all doing it at different levels, different teams of profiteers and the rest of it, if you have no central trading controls. Nowhere else in the world do people say that to have a free trade agreement, you need the untrammeled free movement of peoples. Nowhere else in the world do people do that. It's only within the European Union uh, that, we've, that we've believed that this is right. Nigel Farage, thank you for talking thank with you. us.